What's good, Libra Squad? Welcome to my channel, Tarot Buddy Intuitive Teacup. That is me. My name's Annie. If you are watching this, you resonate with the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever that is for you. Let's do it, Libra. Let's get you some fun messages for love. Um, welcome to the newbies. If you're not familiar with my channel, I do general messages here on YouTube. Uh, that means not everything I say will resonate with every Libra out there. That is simply impossible, and it's not how tarot works. Um, I hope pieces and parts of this resonate. I hope lots and lots of it does. You will always be in the driver's seat of your own life, uh, so that means you are going to have to determine which messages you're going to take away here today and which you're not. Highly recommend you take away the ones that motivate you, empower you, inspire you, confirm what you were thinking or feeling. Everything else you can push aside, assume the message will be going out to someone else, and then if later down the line it resonates with you, um, take it and run with it. That means it was probably your message, okay? All right, for my Libra squad. Any other questions you have, um, they will be down in the description box below, including the decks I'm using here today, as well as my social media. I am on Instagram, Facebook.com, all the intuitive teacup. Check that out if you're interested. If you want to book a personal, that link is down below. Uh, other than that, we're going to hop in. Let me get three more cards for Libras and we will do their love tarot reading. Little sips, as I call them here at the intuitive teacup. All the puns, all the time. All right. Um, so if you're not currently having a, or you, if you do not currently have a person in mind, um, this may or may not be your message. It may come in to play later for you if you don't currently have a person you're thinking about because that's how I'm reading the cards, the one you are thinking about. Bottom of your deck is the Magician. So some Gemini and Virgo energy there. Some of you are doing like um, love spells. That's what I get from that. Be careful. Uh, not here to tell you what to do or what not to do, but just be careful with that, right? Because... Yeah, anyway, um, I'm being called to reference the craft. Have you guys seen that movie? Like, what you send out, you get back times three. She puts a love spell on someone, and then he becomes, like, crazy obsessed, and it's not healthy. So, anyway, just word to the wise for anybody who resonates with that. Be real careful with that. All right, your person. Uh, let's see. In their head, they really want your respect and attention, but they're intimidated by you. They think you make a lot of money or you're just very powerful or you're very focused on your career. And I think they're worried that they don't measure up. They're worried that they're going to lose you or they're, they feel like they need to have some sort of important conversation. Oh, I think you've put this person in your place. I actually really like this because it's a very empowered message. It says that somebody did something that... Um, didn't honor your true value and your worth and rather than being like a doormat or something you stood up for yourself and I think you were essentially like cut the bullshit and so this person wasn't in, uh, expecting or anticipating that reaction from you and so they actually are starting to think like oh my gosh did I just lose Libra or did I really screw it up so badly this time I can't fix it you seem very empowered almost to the point where you're like Psh. I was like, bitch, I don't got time for this. Like, that's sort of what I get. You're showing up as Queen of Pentacles, which is badass. Um, yeah, very well-rooted, well-grounded stability. You got your mind on your money and your money on your minds. I like that a lot. And your person is, they're like shaking in their boots. So it could also be someone showing up in your spread. I am reading for love, but if you are at all in some sort of power position where you're bringing people on board on a team, and you, it's almost like you decide the fate of them being at the company or on the project with you. You may be making cuts and they're sweating it out. I don't typically get that, but because this may be a business relationship, and maybe it's both. Maybe you, you are dating the person who works at the office with you, right? I don't know your life, Libra. I'm just saying. Somebody, I, I am getting, somebody said or did something in a lower vibration thinking, oh, Libra will just brush it off. It's no big deal. It's almost like they took advantage of you thinking you weren't going to put up a fight and you drew a line in the sand like, oh, no, you don't. So, again, it's very empowered. I like it very much. And I think that, to be honest, this person, I think, is trying to get back in your good graces. That's sort of what I get from that. <clears throat> yeah, I think you cut it. Yeah, I think you cut it off with this person. You decided to move on and kind of leave them in the dust because... Things are really blossoming and blooming in your career, Libra. Um, you may have gotten good news about, um, yeah, about, a, I don't know, a pay raise or, I don't know, something potentially changes in your work environment and it puts you in this really amazing headspace of like, I'm freaking awesome and I'm dominating this. And it's not in an egocentric way, it's just very empowered and it's like this, I can do anything, like I'm the boss of my life and hell yeah you are. I love seeing this for you, Libra. It's incredible energy. 
I think you either put this person in your their place. I don't know if you necessarily broke up with them, but that sort of threat, I think, is kind of in their mind. And so it's almost like they're trying to picture themselves without you and they don't like it. They feel like they lost you or they feel like it's like they're trying to formulate a plan to win you back. And for my cross watchers, the key to winning your Libra back is to be vulnerable, to admit to your faults, to, to come clean and admit that you fucked up. You, yeah, it's like you need to put all the bullshit like walls down and check the ego. If you come to them with a very pure apology, they might potentially forgive you. Some of them won't, depending on how severe this was. But it's like the one thing they're, they're, it's like they're trying to solve this unsolvable puzzle. How do I get Libra back? But it's like the answer is quite clear. It's like, use your cup, use your heart, use, like, use your common sense for one thing. <clears throat> but a lot of them might see Libra as a little bit, sorry, this is a bit of a harsh message, so earmuffs if you're not ready. I, I don't know why, but a little bit like materialistic or appearance is very important to my Libras right now. And so your person may be fearing that they don't look good enough or they're fearful of your judgment. That judgment is a very wide umbrella for multiple things that could have said or, or been done or what happened between you two. They fear your judgment. This is so funny though. Do you know what their action is? It's like they're gonna dress the part. So that might be a metaphor, Libra. They're gonna show up and do the work because they don't wanna be single. They don't wanna lose you. That's sort of what I get from this. And again, I don't ever, ever, ever want to paint false hope, right? I'm reading what the cards say. This is not going to be everyone's message. But for a lot of you, if this is like you're dating, but you're not sure if it's serious, if this person has screwed up with you a couple times and you're kind of at the brink of like, again, like, bitch, please, I don't have time for you. It's almost like when you prove to them, this is not an empty threat of me being like, you need to shape up. I'm, I'm here in Greece. You better shape up, do, 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 because I need a man and my heart is set on you. All right, should I stop singing? Yeah, anyway, they do shape up. It's it's literally like Sandy transforms at the end of Greece. It's like you go from, or this person goes from like not meeting the image standard, right? Because she doesn't look like, Sandy doesn't look like a T-bird, right? So she's like this cute little kind of geeky schoolgirl poodle skirt wearing whatever. At the end, she's like this sexy biker leather mama. Like, and I know this is a silly metaphor, but it actually does demonstrate what I'm saying. Essentially, you're saying if you need to fit in with me, you need to raise the bar. Like, I, I'm not looking for bottom feeders. I'm not looking for, and maybe that's what it is. Maybe this person didn't have a lot of money and you were like their sugar mama or sugar daddy. And all of a sudden you're like, you know what? Like, sorry, you're cut off. And they're like, what do you mean I'm cut off? Like, there, there's an immaturity about this person where it's like they've always gotten their way and all of a sudden they don't and they're completely perplexed by it. It's like they're overthinking like, now wait a minute, how did this possibly happen? Because Libra grew some balls or Libra finally decided to stand up for themselves or whatever the case may be. Something about this, though, does match the image standard. I keep wanting to say this. So I don't know what maybe this person got like some crazy haircut or some crazy tattoo. And you're like, you can, what? Like, do you know what I mean? There's something about the visual aesthetic that may have been a point of a contempt. Is that the right word? Uh, there may have been an argument regarding. Some, it could even be the I don't know, the color you painted the house or the color of the car he, they bought or whatever. It doesn't matter. They shape up. They change the look of it. This is like my, this is Queen of Wands, right? All, like the actress, the dramatics, the entertainer, the star, the, the visual beauty of something or someone. You're, you're basically like, I'm a queen and you need to step it up. And so they do. Their action is like, okay. <laughs> it's sultry. They're a little bit sassy. You might be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Potent potentially an Aries or a Leo, especially. Yeah, they want to ride with you. They're down for the ride. I think you've made some changes that it's going to take them a while to get used to. But as long as you stay firmly planted in, in your beliefs, right? You know, tree, root, earth energy, stand firmly planted in, in what it is that you want. This person will rise to the occasion because they do want your, they want to be in your good graces. They want your approval. That's very important to this person. And I'm not necessarily saying that's a great thing, but I do think this person likes you, but they may have not shown it in the best ways in the past. In your heart, I, I do think 
you're, I wouldn't say you're at a crossroads because to you, at least the way it's coming through here, if you lost them, it would be like, okay, it wasn't the one. You're, you're not as in this because you're the one who's having to put up with all the bullshit. So in a sense, if you draw a line in the sand and they don't try and come back, you're like, all right, well, good riddance then. It wasn't meant to be. It's very empowered. I like this. I like this reading for you, Libra. Yeah, you're, you're your own damn magician. You can do whatever you want. You may have your uh, sights set on a, a... Did I say this earlier? I feel, oh, yeah, because you had the magician twice. You may have your sights set on a Virgo or a Gemini, in which case, if you were relieved of this person's bullshit, you would zoom right over to kind of um, start flirting or, or to make, make flirtatious advances towards a Gemini or a Virgo, possibly a Sag. I'm not getting that as strongly, but... Yeah, it's like you can manifest whatever it is that you want. You're coming from a very empowered place. For a lot of you, this has to do with like a promotion or just good news at work or good fortune taking place in, in your career field, in your finances, something like that. Uh, you may be having uh, far more interactions with clients, with vendors, with people you work with, you know, whatever the case may be. You're taunting your person. Libra. It's a little bit evil yeah essentially in, there is something about see how good you had it when I was around well you lost it that's sort of what I'm getting I don't think you're trying to be vicious but I think I'll be honest I think you're serving this person a dose of their own medicine It's funny, this person may be sulking. Again, there's an immaturity to your person, and if you do break up with them or put them in their place, there's some sort of bizarre incidents where you, you like, they're getting everyone on their team to be like, yeah, Libra wasn't nice to me, and that was so unfair. Like, their mother might call you and be like, how could you? He loves you, and blah, blah, blah. Or, like, their friends group may text you like, oh, my gosh, why did you hurt Joey's feelings? And it's like they want sympathy for this person, even though this person did kind of screw up. Yeah, it's like they're trying to make you the heavy. They're trying to make you the bad guy, and you're not. You're just finally sticking up for yourself, so don't fall for that trap. Emotional manipulation of, well, I didn't mean it, and you took it so sensitive. Well, you, they shouldn't have been such an asshole. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, don't stoop to that level where they're pushing you into a corner of, of being the doormat. Don't do that, Libra. You have very strong and empowered cards, but there is this idea that your person, whoever you put in their place, it's like their soul tribe is going to come knocking at your door. And essentially, like, how could you do that to so-and-so? And from what I see, you were very just in doing what you did. It's like you were uh, leveling the playing field. Also, the scales, the scales of truth, the scales of justice, you. You are meant to level this person's out because they needed to check their ego. This person does like you, though. That's the thing. They will show up and change, but they're going to test you before they do that to make sure that they can't get away with it anymore. There is the dawning of a new day for this person. They finally recognize that if, if they want to win your heart, potentially a water sign or a Leo, um, they, they have to show up and, and start putting in the work into this relationship and also giving it more love and time and attention being more sensitive to your emotions and and also they need to be more vulnerable and real about how they're feeling because in a sense there is soulmate energy here but it's not saying this has to be your long-term person if you don't want it to be it's quite possible that this may have been a karmic relationship and because the way this looks to me you libra are the one who's kind of like you know if I have to sacrifice it, okay. I, I don't think you want to, or this wouldn't be showing up in your spread, but you're willing to come to terms with it. You understand what this person brings to your relationship, and then you understand where it is severely lacking. This could have been a karmic relationship where you essentially were like ushered into this person's light to ushered into this person's life to show them the light, to show them the way that, yeah, like you're it's like you're taking advantage of people's kindness and this is where it stops in terms of their their patterns, their habits, their behaviors, but also potentially in terms of the relationship. This may be the one relationship that finally sets them off on a track where they're not so self-centered, they're not so selfish, or they become more sensitive, they become more empathic, they become more compassionate to their lover, right? Don't fall for their traps of manipulation. Oh, 
a Virgo has to do with a lot of this. If you're not currently with a Virgo, you may have a Virgo coming in to shine a light on you. And it's a very spiritually awakened Virgo. It may also be an Aries. Yeah, uh, Knight of Cups. Did you have that twice or just once? You have Queen of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you are going to choose to walk away because what this person has to offer doesn't meet your new standards. It doesn't meet your new value. Yeah, you're, you're going to put up a big stink and a big fight. You're going to be very defensive. You may even choose to block this person if they start sending you, like, um, again, emotionally manipulative text. Spirit is confirming. Stand strong. You have seven of wands twice. Stand strong in your convictions. Do not give in to the bullshit, right? If this person wants to be with you, they will make the necessary changes. And I'm not saying they need to make superficial changes. I'm saying that they don't match your vibe. Your vibe is empowered. Your vibe is, it just, it's awesome. Your vibe feels like you finally recognize how amazing you are. And if this person doesn't, well, plenty of fish in the sea, right? This person is an energy vampire. This person may actually been a sort of a narcissist in that by keeping you in check and sort of, I, I hate to say it, but the more I go, the, the worse vibe I get from this person. I'm sorry if that's not what you want to hear, but again, it's not for everyone. It's almost like they were playing this manipulative game whereby the opposite of empowering, by kind of keeping you down, keeping you, keeping your ego in check, again, not recognizing or telling you how, how valuable and how great you are, it put them in the power position and so when you sweep the rug out from under them and be like, actually, I do love myself. Actually, I'm way better than the bullshit you're throwing at me. They're, they're aw awestruck. Their jaw drops. They don't even know what to do with that. And it actually gives them severe anxiety because there's been a power flip. There's been a power dynamic. Libra, I love this reading for you. I'm not going to lie. I'm obviously not saying, you know, don't be evil. Don't be malicious. You know, do unto others, right? But this person has a huge dose of karma, karmic justice, Libra, coming their way. And yeah, you're eight of cups, baby. You're like, you know, this used to fill my cup. This used to be fulfilling. This used to be all fun and games, but I'm good. Like, I, I'm i pretty great without you, so girl, bye, or boy, bye, right? That's, that's what this feels like. And your person is just like, wait, but I love you. Some of you have a cancer that's interested in you. Um, or a, um, another air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And again, something about this Virgo. You may have a Virgo coming in to make a new love offer to you. So anyway, Libra, it looks like you're in the power position. So stay there, right? I like that. This is actually a very good reading for you. I'm, I'm into it. Um, and certainly you can take this person back. You can try it out. But I mean, if this is the umpteenth time they're doing this, then maybe that's a sign, right? Maybe it's a sign to, to give something else a try, right? You've been illuminated to the truth now. What are you going to do with it, right? All right, Libra, that's what I got for you. Beautiful, beautiful air signs. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if it resonates, and I will see you very soon for more tarot.